Beautiful day here. My name is Don Harper. I'm a member of the Beaver Lawrence Railway Historical Association. Uh, we're at the West Pittsburgh Station in West Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And this is a follow-up to a recording that we did several years ago so that we can show you some of the changes that have been made since the last time we did this interview. And we're going to start with the station and uh, take a look on the inside and see the interior uh, renovations that have been made so far. So if you follow me. Okay, the last time we were in here, the interior was a bit on the junked up side, just put it nicely. And uh, in the intervening years, we have reworked the walls. Uh, they're still in the process of being reworked, as you can see over there. Uh, in some places, the, the original plaster was so badly deteriorated that it had to be removed. But there's a lot of it that's still intact. Anywhere you see the, the green paint remaining, that's, that's original wall, and it's probably in still good enough shape to just uh, scrape the old paint off and, and uh, repaint. Where you see the uh, drywall mud, that's... that's uh, new material has been put up on the walls where the uh, the old stuff was just too badly deteriorated. Okay. Now we're in the women's waiting room of the original station and this is the only room so far that has been completely redone. And you can see we've changed it into a meeting room. Uh, this is where the society meets every second Saturday of every month. <laughs> and it's also our artifact room. There are a lot of Display cases set up, tools, uh, timetables. Uh, this is the track board from Newcastle Junction that were, uh, came out of the uh, Union uh, Tower that used to sit up on the old B&O Railroad up on the embankment. And uh, the, the Coriolis Station sign, which really ought to go back to Coriolis, but if they ever get around to reworking that uh, station. And our little donation box and things like that. So this room is this this room was a mess when we, the last time we were in here. All right, we're down in the basement now. Uh, this was completely jumped up the last time we were here, and I didn't even bring you down to take a look at it. But since then, it's been converted into a nice workshop with a workbench, all kinds of tools. Uh, we have installed a wood burning stove and a coal stove to heat the building during the winter. Um, the, the coal is brought in from, purchased somewhere and brought in. Uh, the wood all comes from dead trees out in the north woods that I've cut up. <clears throat> and we've got all sorts of tools down here. And, um, over here are, are tents that we set up for display purposes on occasion. Those were all up in the upper floor when you were here last time. So a lot of renovations down here. And shelving units back here that have a lot of the artifacts that we haven't uh, put on display yet. Southern engineer's chair uh, for sale, if anybody wants one. All right. This, uh, we're walking into the, what was the station agent's office. Yeah. Uh, pretty spacious room. It had a skylight that is now covered up. And a lot of the things that were out in the main waiting room are now stored in here pending ultimate disposition. Um, looks a bit on the jumped up side, but it'll, that'll change over time. Just like the room, the main waiting room in there. And this was the baggage handling room. That opening right there on the wall, we think, was originally where uh, people brought suitcases and so forth like that, and to have them stored in here pending departure of a train. All right. This is the Pennsylvania cabin car, as they, they called them, caboose to other people. Uh, it was brought here several years ago on a flatbed truck from the Honing Town. And over that time, we've completely stripped the car down to bare metal, primed it one section at a time, and then repainted it. Uh, Gary Mittner has done most of the painting on it. He's done the uh, the lettering, 
and the numbering and so forth like that. Uh, the roof isn't finished yet, the interior is not finished yet, but eventually this will be as close as we can get it to what it looked like when it was built in 1942 and operated on the Pennsylvania Railroad. Uh, what you're looking at now is the North Woods, what we call the North Woods. Uh, when you were here last time, there were trees and, and all sorts of bushes and shrubs filling up that entire space. And over the past several years, we've cleaned it out, and it's now more or less a, a park with lots of grass. And as you'll see when we get down there, I've planted a number of chestnut seedlings, actually seeds, and the seedlings have all sprouted and are inside cages to protect them, protect them from the deer. Okay, here we are at the North Woods. Uh, right ahead you can see the cages protecting the chestnut trees. Um, this, was, again, was all overgrown, a lot of shrubs and bushes, and almost impenetrable in some cases. And we've gotten all cleaned out. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if any of you out there are interested in railroad history, restoration projects, anything pertaining to railroads, come on down and join us. Uh, we, we're on the web, we have our own website. Uh, you can check us out through the uh, Tourism Bureau website also. So come on down. Thanks for watching.